we can um, criticize Missoula as much as we want. Obviously, he was open for criticism, deserved a level of criticism for uh, the Celtics' playoff performance and some of the stubborn moves that he made and kind of sticking to the three-point philosophy where, you know, obviously, uh, as we saw in the finals, Denver didn't need the three-point shot to uh, kind of take take care of Miami. They did it through with, through, with the twos and the ball movement. Um, but – I don't think that Joe had the greatest help. Um, remember, as you know, Warren, they lost Udoka, well chronicled, but, and, you know, and they also lost Will Hardy, you know, great uh, first year assistant who jumped to the Utah jazz, did a very good job with them. And um, obviously they probably would have made the playoffs if they had tried. I think they kind of, uh, you yeah. know, tailed off at the end intentionally to try to get a better draft pick. And, they, you know, they weren't trying to be the eighth seed or play in or whatever, but uh, a, a positive, very positive first season for Will Hardy. And in the middle of the season, they lost Damon Stoudemire. So if you're really thinking about it, like just three assistants, two NBA head coaches, and now a Division One head coach in the ACC, who was a former 15-year NBA veteran, 12-year NBA veteran, former All-Star, Rookie of the Year. So – three guys with really great credentials and you don't replace any of them. So I blame that on Brad. And he said during that press conference, Warren, that, you know, oh, we tried and we just couldn't pull it. Like, I don't know what that means, whether, you know, <laughs> you had one, <laughs> one target and the guy just said no, whether he was asking for major money. I don't know what stopped them from at least filling one of those spots. But now I think they finally saw through and learned the hard way that you can't have a staff that's inexperienced, no NBA experience on the staff, very little. I think Aaron Miles was the only guy on the staff who played in the NBA. And I, I know he had a short stint with the Golden State Warriors and he was on the Warriors staff. But you, you didn't have any experience, frontline NBA experience. And also, Warren, you had a lot of emails guys on that staff. And as we've seen, a, gr a group of those guys are already hit, are likely headed to Houston. Yep. Now, it's been announced, but those guys were on the way out the moment that Eme was hired by the Houston Rockets. So I just think it was it's astute of Brad to finally fill those positions. I think you're talking about a you know, you know San Cassell. I know San Cassell in terms of his resume, three time NBA champion. A guy who's, uh, you know, known as a player's coach, a guy who's been kind of on Doc's uh, staff for years in L.A. and now in, in Philadelphia last year, a couple years. Um, a guy's probably looking to be an NBA head coach, right? Uh, has not gotten the interviews and opportunities as much as I thought he would. I thought he'd have a, you know, he's 52 years, 53 years old, so he's of age. Uh, he's got the experience. He's been a longtime assistant. I'm not sure what's stopping this. And um, but it's a good step for him, and I think to get out of Doc's shadow helps him too. Um, to do, to, to be kind of his own coach, and then Charles Lee, a guy who's assistant Budenholzer, uh, Mike Budenholzer in Milwaukee, who was a finalist for the Toronto job, but another guy, you a little younger, 38 years old, but a, another rising coach as a lead assistant. And I just think you 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 got to line your staff with some veteran quality coaches, and that's exactly what the Celtics did. 